Hi everyone, this is Billy Bidlam66 coming at you again. Um, I want to talk tonight a little bit about operational security uh, in regards to prepping. You know, a lot of people out there have prepping videos on YouTube, Vimeo, BitChute, and such like, and they do a great job. They tell you what you need, um, what you should get for your bug out location, your homestead, things like that. Um, unfortunately, they do some things that probably are not the best for, uh, you know, uh, trying to secure their location. In today's society of high technology, uh, one of the things you have to be overly concerned about is people being able to access your information. And if these people work in the high tech arena, uh, like for the high, any of the high tech companies, defense contractors, uh, electronics, software manufacturers, that type of thing, or if they work in a government agency, police officer, federal agent, IRS agent, that kind of thing, they have access to a lot of information. Now, in the midst of this COVID-19 mess, the preppers are really going to town. They're putting up videos. And like I said, they do a great job, but they leave themselves exposed. Um, I'm not going to name any names, uh, their YouTube uh, handle or their real name. Uh, but there is one guy in particular. Um, he constantly shows videos of his entire bug out location, everything, the buildings inside now, the tree line, the roads coming in, all this kind of thing. Uh, this is probably not a good thing to do uh, in a situation like this. Like I said, operational security, and for those of you who've been in law enforcement or the military or even defense contractors know what that is. Uh, when, you, when you are securing a facility or an operation, there are many different facets that, that go into it. One is authorized versus unauthorized access to the facility, uh, to uh, classified data, to equipment, vehicles, and access to your personnel. Uh, these are things that uh, have to be taken into account at all times. Sorry for the shaky cam. Um, these are things that have to be taken into account at all times. Um, and that's good if you run a government agency. It's great if you run a corporation and you want to keep your trade secrets uh, secret. But it's also a good thing if you have to leave your home and go to your bug out location and you don't want a bunch of marauders showing up on your doorstep an hour after you get there because they've been researching your YouTube videos and they go, ah, I know where Bob is going. I know that location. That road he showed, I know where that goes. That tree line, that skyline, oh yeah, I know that. That's the thing you need to avoid. You need to find a way to avoid them being able to identify that. Unless you want people to know where you're bugging out to, but I don't think most of you do. All right. In a, in a given situation, like with COVID-19, um, you're going to have people that are going to prep, and they're going to be prepping for years. Most you preppers have been prepping for years. Uh, you're going to have those that just got turned on to it as soon as they heard about this mess in China before it even got to the U.S. and said, yeah, I'm going to go buy stuff. Then you have people right now that are going, oh boy, I better go get some stuff. Then you're going to have those that are going to go, nah, 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 I don't need to do that. Don't worry about that. We'll be fine. I don't need to go anywhere. The last group and the group right before it are the two most likely to say, oh, the stores are out. Oh no, I waited too long. Uh-oh, I need to go find some stuff. They're going to remember you if they've been on YouTube. They're going to go, ah, there's Bob. He's up there in, uh, oh, Virginia. Yeah, that road, I recognize that. Yeah, we used to go up there drinking when I was in college. Yeah, I recognize that place. Oh, by the way, I looked at his video and I looked at the GPS coordinates that YouTube keeps and all that. And I've been able to get into that data and, oh, I know exactly where he's at. The lat and the long, yeah, I can find him. You know, hopefully he won't be at his bug out location. Hopefully he'll be gone. I can just walk in, take some stuff and run. If he's there, man, he's going to give me some stuff or else. If you think that's not going to happen, don't kid yourself. It will. Hurricane Katrina was a perfect example of that. And I can guarantee you, you will, we will see it again. So, in regards to operational security for your bug out location, if you want to do videos telling people how to prep, that's great. 
but try to limit the background in your videos. And if you can, do your videos completely indoors. If you don't need to show people outside like where your wood stash is, you know, where you've been chopping wood, if all you need to do is talk about uh, how to put together a homestead and everything, do it indoors. And on top of that, do it in a very darkened room so that you only have light from the webcam illuminating you. The reason why is because most of you have stuff in your bug out location that will give people a hint, especially if they're really smart. Uh, people like skip tracers, IRS agents, federal agents, local cops, ideas on where you might be based on the map in the background or the calendar in the background. Maybe you got the calendar from a auto repair shop right down the road from where your bug out location is. Those are the kind of things you need to think about. So do your videos turn down so people can't see anything. Now, if you want or need to go outside to show people your wood pile or to show people your generator room, uh, keep the camera aimed at the ground. And then when you get to that particular building and you need to show them the inside, open the door and then point your uh, cell phone, your GoPro camera, whatever inside and describe what they're seeing and how you did set it up and things like that. Avoid letting them see the entire perimeter of your uh, facility. You don't want to do that or your bug out location. You just, you want to avoid it at all costs. Okay. Now that brings me to the second point. Um, if, if you've already got all your stuff at your bug out location and you had lumber companies deliver it or, uh, whatever. Okay. You got to deal with people knowing where you're at. That's just going to be a fact of it. You're going to have to deal with it. We all have to deal with it. However, if you haven't gotten to your bug out location, let's say you own it, but you haven't set it up yet. You want to take all your materials yourself to your bug out location. You do not want the lumber company delivering. You do not want uh, anything coming from FedEx to that place. And of course, if it's out in the middle of nowhere, FedEx is not likely to deliver it anyways, or they might deliver it to a local post office and the post office might bring it up. If it's a local post office that's delivering a package to you, you're probably all right because they, they're going to know everyone who lives in, in that area anyways, if, like if it's in a rural area or the mountains. So you can live with that. But you want to avoid a lot of delivery drivers coming to that property. And the reason is very simple. People get nosy. Delivery drivers are always nosy. You know, that's the way it is. And they might look around while you're signing for the package or you're off or things are getting stacked and they're checking the invoice to make sure they got it all and they're going, oh yeah, look at that over there. And yeah, look at this over here. And they're taking mental notes. So you want to avoid that. You want to try your best to avoid that type of thing. Try to bring all your materials with you. Now, one video that I noticed that a guy puts up and he's been a long time prepper is he has a natural gas tank, a, bi a big one for uh, liquefied uh, natural gas. That means he's probably got a delivery service delivering that gas. Now at a bug out location, I don't know if you want to be on natural gas or not. The idea is to be, you know, off the grid. Now granted, natural gas is not like being hooked into your electrical supply, but still somebody has to deliver that. Somebody's going to take note. And in the event that this pandemic goes big time again and they shut down the entire country and they want to start doing contact tracing, they might want to know about people living in rural areas. Oh, I noticed Bob hasn't been to work. Oh, he quit, huh? Well, why did he quit? Oh, he went to his bug out location. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do you guys know where that's at? Yeah, I deliver stuff up there all the time. I know where it's at. See? So you want to avoid that. You want to take all your stuff yourself to your location. You don't want people delivering it if, if that can be helped. Now, if it's big stuff that you just can't haul, you're, you're either going to have to just live with the delivery driver knowing where you're at or get someone with a truck to help you go get it. Also, when you're buying your stuff, your bug out location, remember when you bought the property, uh, you got a deed, it has an address and everything. Whatever you do, do not use the bug out address. Just use the address of your home where your credit card uh, bill gets sent or if you're using your debit card where your checking account information gets set. 
uh, don't use the bug out location. Remember, operational security, your bug out location has got to be as secret as a secret government installation in the middle of the desert. Nobody needs to know it's there. Nobody needs to know why it's there if they do figure out why it's there. Okay. So now let's move on to other things. I notice in a lot, a lot of videos, the other thing that they have too is they have relatives coming to stay with them. And for a situation like, oh, uh, you know, this one guy, his son was at college. Okay, well, it's a son. You can trust him. Uh, obviously, you're probably going to have your wife with you unless you're divorced or whatever. But now other relatives, uh, brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, uh, if they're not real hip to the whole uh, prepping scene, you may not want them to know. Now, granted, you're going to want to warn them if a problem happens, uh, but kind of gauge their response to you talking about being a prepper and uh, wanting to bug out in case things get bad. If they go totally south on you and go, oh, you're crazy, that's a bunch of nutty stuff, the government says not to do that, blah, 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 then don't tell them anything about it. Don't. Just warn them like you should that something is coming and leave it at that. Just, you know, just say, well, you know, COVID-19, blah, 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 contact tracing, I don't want to mess with it, I'm out of here. Go ahead and do that. You know, that's fine. Uh, but leave it at that. Don't go, don't go any farther than that, you know, with them, if, if that's, you know, the problem you're going to have with them. Um, let's see, what else would there be? Um, as much as you like the internet, having the internet at your bug out location may not be the best thing either. I know some of these guys, they're using Wi-Fi, which means if their bug out location is like in a national park, they're probably going off of a, a normal uh, cell phone tower and they're probably checking for open Wi-Fi connections, or they may even be using one off their cell phone. Um, once again, that's probably not what you want to do, because the government is probably actively monitoring these right now in the midst of this pandemic. They want to know who's where and who's doing what. If you're going to put up a YouTube video about what you've done for prepping and what you think people should do, probably go into town and use the internet at a cafe or something like that. That's probably the better thing to do. You know, that way people don't know. Now, granted, the government is going to know where you're at because of, you know, the fact that you bought a piece of property. And if you're in the mountains, more than likely, you're either inside the national park or you're inside the operational area of the U.S. Forest Service. Kind of hard not to be when you're in the mountains. And that's another thing. Those guys up there, in the mountains, they're going to be a little bit nosy. Your uh, Forest Service workers, National Park Service workers. I know people that live right outside the National Park, but live inside the borders of the U.S. Forest Service, and they're always getting visits by these guys. Uh, don't go militia, patriot, tinfoil hat on them if they show up to visit during the COVID-19 thing. Be nice. If they ask if they can look around, let them. You don't want any more trouble from them and anyone else in the government than is needed. Go ahead and let them look around. They probably want to make sure, you know, you're not up there, you know, cooking up meth or things like that because there's a lot of people that live up there in the national parks and, and in forest service uh, areas that do that. So just let them and just say that you're a prepper and you took time off from work. You're up here until the COVID-19 thing uh, winds down. You got your own food up here, you know, and everything. And you got a cell phone in case there's an accident and everything. And just let them know you're a cooperative type and that you're not, you know, some crazy lunatic. You know, just say, you know, it was, you know, people were getting crazy where I live, making threats to each other. And so I told my boss I'd take some time off and come up here and let everyone cool down. You know, that way I didn't have to deal with anybody's craziness or anything. And they'll understand that, you know, that, that you'll be fine with that. So, you know, let it go with that. You know, that way you don't infuriate them and, and make them turn on you and, and make you watch, or worse, even get arrested. Not just watch you, but you know, if you get nasty with them, pull out a gun, you're liable to get arrested. So just be decent to them and, and let them go on their way. Because uh, more likely, a federal government is going to know where you're at anyways. You know, if you got a car, newer car, uh, you know, with GPS in it, they're going to know where you're at anyways. You know, the onboard computer, all of it, it, it tells them where you're at. So. You know, don't think you're hi really hiding from the government. You're not. Remember, this is about getting away from looters and people like that. Now, if you, if you have to confront, 
government officials, uh, you know, then you're going to have to do it. You know, whatever, you know, whatever it takes, you know. Um, if they want you off the land for some reason, even though it's your land saying, oh, no, you can't be up here. You have to go back to the city. You have to quarantine. Just tell them no. Just say you're quarantined in the best place you can away from everyone. Nobody's going to get sick up here because you're all by yourself. Uh, those are things to look at there. Two, uh, where your bug out location is, more likely there's people around you uh, who either are people that are retired and live there uh, in the mountains or they're bugging out too. Uh, it's a good idea to get to know those people, find out who your neighbors are, uh, find out if you can trust them. And if you can trust them, then uh, that's more operational security. Uh, they can watch out for your property while you're in town. You can watch out for theirs. Uh, so that's a good thing to do there is to become very friendly with your neighbors. Um, more than likely, uh, also because uh, uh, national parks, mountains, ranges, and all that also sit inside counties of a state, uh, you may encounter county sheriff from time to time or even a state patrol officer. Once again, uh, use the same consideration. Don't get nasty with them. They may ask what you're doing up there. They've never seen you before. Say, uh, I'm a prepper. This is my bug out location. Uh, things got crazy in my city and, you know, and I decided to come up here and just hang out for a couple of weeks and let things die down and let everyone calm down and, you know, and then I'll get back to work in a few weeks or whatever. And, you know, they'll understand that, you know, and they may even say, okay, yeah, and if you have any trouble up here, let us know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the government is not who you're going to avoid by prepping and bugging out. They're always going to know where you're at. This, remember, once again, this is about getting away from looters and, and marauders and people who didn't prep. That's who you're getting away from here. Uh, you're never going to get away from the government. Believe me, they have mapped every square inch of this planet with, uh, with satellites. So they know where property lines are at. When you start building on that land, believe me, they know it. So be aware of that. Um, not much else right now. I'm going to do this video in section. I am going to do more, but it will be done in sections, so it's not too long. Um, I hope that helps, and I hope you guys that are preppers, uh, that have already prepped and at your facilities, I, I, I hope you take that to heart about being careful what you show people. I, I know a lot of you guys want to help, but you've got your family up there with you, and you're showing people your entire property and everything. Uh, that may not be the best thing. And so I, I just want to, to caution you people that, you know, when this thing does go, and it's going to go, you know, that this economy can't hold for very long. When it does go, desperate people will do desperate things. It's as simple as that. So, but anyways, that's all I've got for now. Um, you know, do what you can to keep your family in good shape, uh, good spirits, uh, you know, make sure every family member has what they need. If they have medications uh, that they need, children, uh, spouse, whatever, make sure everyone has their medication. Um, uh, if, you, uh, if you know that you're probably going to have to go back down to the city at some point, uh, always go into town near your bugging lo bug out location and try to uh, find out what's going on in your town or city if things got bad, uh, that kind of thing. If they're not, then you can safely go home. Uh, especially if you've got to put the children back in school, that kind of thing. So, you know, the, so always, you know, always be uh, taking care of everyone in your family. Um, and like I said, uh, I hate using their terms, but I'm going to say it anyway. Stay safe. And uh, uh, I'll see all of you in, in the next videos. Billy Bedlam, checking out for now. Bye.